All right, so believe it or not, you actually have your first Django web page, although this is not one we want. We want to customize it, and that's what Django is all about. So to do this, we actually create something called a view. This is the first of many times we will be creating and using views. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to let you know that all of the code is gonna be on our GitHub right here. And this will be linked in a lot of places, and I'll probably mention it a couple of times just so you know about it. And that's also why you'll see a bunch of new files in my VS code. And you might see new files from time to time, but I'll try to address the new ones that are important when it happens. Like the license and readme are certainly not something you need to watch me make. That's kind of the idea. Okay, so with that housekeeping out of the way, let's go ahead and actually create the foundation for our first web page. Like how do I actually change what this looks like. And what I want you to think about is how is this actually working? So if I refresh this page, what is going on here? What's the interaction that's happening? Well, I'm hitting enter on this URL and that URL is responding back with, if we look at the page source of so view developer source, don't worry if you don't know how to do this, just bear with me for a second. What's happening it, when we go to this URL is it's actually responding with HTML and CSS or really specifically HTML. It's coming back with this kind of di document that the browser ends up rendering, right? So the browser is what's actually showing this as something that is like human readable. What Django is going to do is send back something more like this. And so we actually have to build something that will send back HTML, will send back a proper web page. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it in Django at a very simple level, because it is fundamentally simple. So if we jump into the TriJango project inside of the TriJango folder, this main configuration folder, we're gonna make a new file, which you can do with just this plus on the file right there, or you can right click or control click new file and call it views.py. So views is a incredibly common way to name this file for what it's about to do. So I'm actually gonna minimize the terminal and the purpose of this file, let's just think of it this way, to render HTML web pages. That's really the purpose of views.py. It does other things, but that's kind of where we wanna write all of the necessary functions and classes to actually handle that rendering. So this is kind of what it looks like is we create a function called something like home and it's gonna return something else. Now remember, when we went to this URL right here, we were requesting something and it returned HTML back. So in other words, we have a dependency that comes in here. So an argument called request this is standard in Django. And what we want to return is something called a response. And of course, just writing out the variable response doesn't do anything for us. We actually need to use a built-in feature that Django has specifically for a HTML response or some sort of HTTP response. Now I realize that there are gonna be acronyms and things that you may have never heard. So feel free to look them up on Wikipedia or let me know in the comments below as to what those things are. So what I wanna do here is I want to, let's say, take in a request and return HTML as a response. That's kind of the goal of this view or this function rather. So by default, Django actually sends the request. So Django sends request and what actually returns the response? Well, we get a pick to return the response. But we're gonna typically use something that's built into Django as well, okay? So initially what I'm gonna do is just return a HTML string. So to do this, we can set a HTML string like this. So HTML string equals to, and we use triple quotes, so it's a little bit more human readable. I'm literally just gonna put a H1 tag called hello world, just like that. Okay, so this is sort of valid HTML in the sense that it is an H1 tag that opens and closes, but it doesn't actually have a full HTML document. We will definitely get back to 
making better HTML later. But for now, we're just gonna return back this HTML string, okay? So how do we do that? Well, you might be tempted to be like, okay, well, I'm just gonna put it in the return statement and that's it. Now this kind of feels like it could work and we'll actually attempt this in the next part. But for now, what I wanna do is I wanna actually use something that's built into Django called an HTTP response. So to do this, we need to import the class from Django.http. We're gonna import HTTP response, okay? Now, this is not something you need to memorize, at least not yet. We will actually come back to views a lot, and there is something that's built into a later feature that we'll talk about. So don't worry about remembering these things or memorizing these things. Um, and so HTTP response is what's gonna be returned. That's a class itself. And we can initialize that class or get an instance of that class this way. And inside of that response, I can just put in the HTML string argument and this will now return back this HTML. And that is a proper functioning view. But wait a minute, I have this view, but how do I actually use it? So to use it, we have to set up our URLs and that's what we'll do 